All right, going to go through this article by Catholic.com, basically saying that Jesus Christ did not pay for all your sins on the cross. So this heresy out there that Jesus Christ did not pay for all your sins, he paid for some of your sins, but not all your sins, it's Roman Catholicism 101. The Catholic Church, because they believe in that they have to have this perpetual works to get themselves saved. And even then, it's still not enough because you have to go through purgatory and have your last few sins burned off in purgatory. So it's just, it just continue having to suffer and having to work for your salvation. You know, it's it's self righteousness. That's what it comes down to. They don't believe that Jesus was enough. They believe that it's Jesus plus them having to do other things. It's exactly what exactly what a lot of the street preachers believe. The street preachers will say there's no eternal security. Uh, you have to continue in holiness and, and that kind of stuff. Exactly what the Catholics believe. And you'll see that. You'll see street preachers saying that you have to continue in holiness. You have to endure until the end to be saved. You know, it's Roman Catholicism. It's work salvation. You have to, and the street preachers they'll deny. It. They'll say, oh, we're, we're not preaching work salvation." Yeah, it is because you're having to continue, continually holiness and continue in obedience to be saved. It's work salvation. What it comes down to. And I'm going to show you that this is a Catholic heresy. That this thing of Jesus didn't pay for all your sins. So this is from Catholic.com. This is basically a Catholic apolog apologetics website where they defend Roman Catholicism and, and just butcher the scriptures to try to try to prove their points. Of course. But it says here, uh, such interpretations don't account for the distinction between forgiving and retaining, nor do they account for the importance given to the utterance of John chapter 20, verse 21 and 23. This is a passage Catholics always run to, to to prove the thing of, oh, men, you know, humans can forgive your sins too, because they believe the priests can forgive your sins. You know, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's been debunked over and over again. Uh, if God has already forgiven all man's sins, or will forgive them all, past and future, upon a single act of repentance, then it makes little sense to tell the apostles that they have been given the power to retain sins, since forgiveness would be all or nothing, and nothing could be retained. Um, the Bible says that humans have a sin nature. Read Romans chapter 7, verse 15 to, to uh, 25. Paul goes over his, his struggle with sin. So I guess Paul wasn't saved then. You know, it's ridiculous. Uh, furthermore, if at conversion we were forgiven all sins, past, present, and future, it would make no sense for Christ to require us to pray, forgive us our debts, also if uh, we have forgiven our debtors. It's kind of funny because the Pope wants to actually, wanted uh, about a year ago, the Pope wanted to change the Lord's Prayer. You know, I mean, typical of Catholics, they, they, they're always wanting to change scripture to suit their doctrines, but... Uh, which he explained is required because if you forgive men in their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men in their trespasses, neither will your Father, Father forgive you your trespasses. And they quote Matthew 6, verse 12 to 15. And Matthew 6 is not even dispensationally for us. Um, Matthew chapter 6 is dispensationally in the future. It's, I believe it's dispensationally in the millennial kingdom. I, I'm gonna, because the Sermon on the Mount, because people always love to run to the Sermon on the Mount to prove uh, uh, work salvation, basically. And I'll show you Matthew chapter 6. Basically, Matthew chapter 6 is the Sermon on the Mount. So it's dispensationally in the in the uh, Millennial Kingdom. It's not, not even written for us today. But again, they're non-dispensational. So, what do you expect from Catholics? They don't believe in, in dispensational salvation. So that's how they'll run back to the Old Testament. They'll run to the future with the time of Jacob's trouble, where you can't take the mark of the beast and all this other stuff. It's ridiculous. But what does the Bible say? Let me show you what Scripture says about this thing of Christ forgiving you all your sins. Because it is a biblical doctrine. Um, Acts chapter 13, verse 39. Here's a good one to run to, to disprove this heresy. There's four verses in the Bible, that in, in the New Testament, that talk about Christ forgiving you all your sins. Acts 13, 39. And by him, that, by him all that believe are justified from all things. Look at that. All things. From which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. You're justified from all things. Colossians chapter 2, verse 13. And you being dead in your sins, sorry, yeah, you being dead in your sins, and in the circumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. All. Past, present, and future. Titus chapter 2, verse 14. Who gave himself, I'll start at verse 13 actually, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God in our Savior Jesus Christ. You're looking for the uh, appearance of Jesus Christ, you're not looking for the Antichrist. A little kick on the post-trip rapture, which is also a Catholic heresy too. Uh, the Catholic Church believes in a post-trip rapture. Don't have time to go through that now. Uh, Titus 2, 14. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from 
all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people as zealous of good works. All iniquity. Now, of course, the better well-known one is 1 John 1, 7. It says, If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. Again, all, past, present, and future. All sin. So those are the four verses that prove that Jesus forgiven, has forgiven us from all sins when you get saved. Uh, so don't be deceived by this Catholic works salvation heresy of, oh, you have to endure in holiness, you have to do this, you have to do that. It's self-righteousness, it's works salvation, and the street preachers believe the same thing. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye. Goodbye.